Today, we're taking my mirror caps from this to this. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we are going to show you how to add carbon fiber mirror caps to your F80 or F82, M3 or M4. Now, when it comes to carbon fiber, there are two main styles. You're going to have wet carbon, and you're also going to have dry carbon. The caps that we're going to be installing today are the F80 and F82 Keys Carbon Dry Caps. Now, when you look on the outside, if you look at a wet and a dry carbon cap, you may not be able to spot the difference. However, as soon as I flip it over, you're gonna know right away that this one right here with the carbon is the dry. That's because with wet carbon, what they do is they take carbon fiber and it's overlaid over an existing piece of plastic. So the biggest advantage of a wet carbon cap are that these are much less expensive to make, so you're gonna find these at a much lower price point. Now the downsides are over time, sometimes wet carbon, what it can do is it can start to bubble. It doesn't happen on every piece, but it is something that can happen. Also, you will notice that when we compare the dry carbon to the wet carbon, this is much thicker right here because you have your plastic and then you have an overlay of carbon. So if you want a more flush finish, you want to go with the dry carbon. And with the dry carbon, they're never going to bubble on you. They're super light and they're also super strong. All right, let's see if I can stand on it. <laughs> All right, I chipped the corner because it got stuck on one of the things. But I didn't break it. I was surprised that helped me. I'm like 208 pounds. <laughs> Now, when it comes to doing your mirror caps on your F80 or F82, there are two ways you could do it. The first way is similar to what we do with the F30s where you pop the glass out and then you push the tabs from the back. The problem is, if you crack your glass, it's gonna cost you about $400 to replace it. The cool thing is the F80 has a little trick where you can get these caps off without pulling the glass. Now, I am serious about this, but for this project, you're going to need a rubber mallet. I wouldn't recommend using a regular hammer. And you're also going to need one of these little squeegees that has the felt tip. Now, to do this, what you're gonna do is we're gonna try to disengage those clips. Now, if you had an F30, this process is not possible because as you can see, there are these three sets of very aggressive clips. So that's why with the F30, you have to pull the glass. But with the F80, we have the luxury of being able to just use a mallet and pop them off from the outside without breaking anything. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your squeegee and you wanna position it just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna very gently, the key word is gently, tap it across. And what that's going to do is it's going to enable us to knock it loose from this clip and also this clip. So what you wanna do is you wanna position it just like this. And just very carefully tap it. Now you'll notice that I am holding this cap with my pinky. If you get a trim tool or maybe like a wooden paint stir and you just pop it, it's gonna go flying off. So you wanna make sure that you still have a hold of it. And as you saw, none of my tabs are broken on here and everything still looks good over here. So by far the best way to do this, and there's also a lot less risk because we didn't risk that $400 piece of glass at all. Now what you wanna do is you wanna just clean off any dirt, make sure that this is going to go on smooth. Okay, flipping over our mirror cap, you can see that there are a series of clips that need to engage. So these clips are going to engage right here and also up here, but there are also these other little clips throughout that are going to clip in. So what I like to do when I first start is make sure that this little tab right here is going in this little hole. And then you wanna make sure that these three main tabs on top are going underneath. And you'll notice that this little piece of plastic right here is going to fit nice right into this little groove. All right, so what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna line up that, that bottom clip, make sure that all of these tabs are underneath, and it's just gonna 
pop and snap into place and it'll look just like that. Check out how amazing it looks. And that is how quick and easy it is to make your mirror caps look unbelievable. Now, if you're interested in carbon mirror caps or other BMW products, be sure to see the links down in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.